Hi and welcome to Humble House. Just a quick video to show you how to make this stitch. I will be using it for a tube scarf, but you can use it for any project that you like. Let's get started. Obviously use whichever yarn and hook that you want. Let's start with a slip knot. You need to work in multiples of 12. For this project, I will be doing 36 chains. Thirty-six chains. Whatever number you picked of the multiples of 12, you will add seven chains to that. So do your multiples of 12 first. And then when you're done and you have the width that you want or the length, then you will add seven chains. From your hook, count back four chains. One, two, three, four. On the fifth chain, you will proceed with a double crochet stitch. So yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Let's do two more double crochet stitches into the next two. There's the next one. Chain two, skip two, one, two, and then proceed to do another double crochet stitch. Again, chain two, skip two, one, two and do another double crochet stitch. One more time, chain two, skip two, one, two, and now proceed to do four double crochets into the next four stitches. A chain two, skip two, and we'll do one double crochet. We are repeating this pattern again. So chain two, skip two, and one double crochet. And now comes this part. So chain two, skip two, and four double crochet stitches. Let's repeat. You should have four chains left for those last four double crochets.
Now chain five. Turn your work. Skip these, so these first three we don't need. Into that fourth double crochet stitch from the previous row, you will work one double crochet stitch in there. Chain two, skip these chains and work a double crochet above this one. Chain two, skip this space, and now we need to work our four double crochets. The first one above this one, the next two, we will work them into the space. And now the last one will go above this, this stitch over here. For a total of four. Let's repeat. Chain two, skip two, so two stitches, and work your double crochet above this one. chain two, skip these chains, work your double crochet above this one, and now we chain two, skip this space, these chains also, and work our double crochet, the first one here. Remember we need four now, so the second one goes into the space, as well as the third one, and then the fourth one will go above this double crochet. At the end of row number two, you will chain two, skip these two, and then you have that chain from the previous row. We need to work a double crochet in here and you can work it into that top chain or just go around this space that you have. Whatever is easier for you. I'm going to work it into the chain. Let's chain five again. Turn your work. Skip this space and work your first double crochet above this one. Now let's chain two again. Skip these two. And we will work our four double crochet stitches here. So one is above this one from the previous row, then we work the other two into the space. And the last one above this stitch from the previous row. Let's repeat, chain two, skip this space, double crochet in here. Let's chain two again. Skip this space and let's do a double crochet above this stitch right here. Now chain two, skip these two stitches here and now we work our four double crochets. Let's finish off row number three. Now 
Now we need a double crochet here. And you can count, so the chains from the previous row, remember there was five, and you can work into this middle one or just go into the space and there's your double crochet. I gotta say I left a really long tail this time. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, okay, let's chain five again and turn your work to start row number four. Do you see how this pattern of the four double crochet stitches is going? you know, kind of like to the side. We're going to start immediately with the four double crochets right here. So skip this space and then start with your double crochet stitch, the first one, and the next two into the space, and the last one in there. Now again, that usual pattern. Now normally you would have the four double crochet coming up, but we are going to re replace that by one double crochet into this space. Let's chain five, turn your work for row number five. Skip this space and start with your double crochet in here. Chain two, skip this space and now we will work our four double crochets. And that's right, you guessed it. First we went up, kind of like sideways, and now, I mean, we're going up <laughs> either way. But I mean, what I meant is we're going kind of like to one side and now to the other side. I think by now, you pretty much know the pattern, right? the end of this row number five, you will finish with a double crochet into either this space or if you want to pick that middle chain with a double crochet stitch. Let's chain five, turn your work for row number six, and we will do a double crochet right in here chain two and skip two, another double crochet in there, and now chain two, skip those two stitches, and we will do our four double crochet stitches. So there. Now you might think, why does she make so many tube scarves all the time? And no, honestly, we do wear them a lot. Number two, I obviously want to show you these amazing stitches and then you can apply them however you want to. Number three, having a three-year-old with special needs just leaves me almost no time <laughs> to do these, these tutorials. But I try my best because I want you to learn how to make these beautiful stitches. Now that last one in there last double crochet. For row number seven, we are basically starting back from row number one. We will chain three only. One, two, and three chains. Now we will start immediately into the space with two double crochets. One and three. Two. 
the other one on top of this stitch right here and there you have those four so the chain of three counts as one double crochet and then that plus the other three and you have your four like you had down here and now all you do if you want to go back in the video is go back to row number one and repeat okay you just repeat that same pattern Okay, well, whichever project that you are making, uh, for me in this case, at the end, I'm just going to chain one. If you are doing a tube scarf as well, I made sure that the last row is the same as the first one so that it's easy to connect them because I have the exact same stitches. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this stitch. I will try to bring you more of these pretty Japanese stitches in the future. You can also follow me on Instagram at HumbleHuzz. I would love to see what you're making. Until next time, bye.